Hello everyone, and welcome to the first of hopefully many Mac programming tutorials. Um, to start off this video, I will just be showing you how to download the tools necessary to start programming on your Mac. Um, I'll start off by teaching you C, which is the basis of all other um, languages, programming languages that come out in the future, as in Java and C++. If you know anything about programming, um, those are languages that were based off of C. Um, so C is a good place to start. Um, if you have never programmed before, that's absolutely fine. All these programming tutorials are going to be geared toward people that have never programmed before. So uh, you're starting at the right place. So anyway, let's get started. So first off, you need the actual tools to start programming. All these tools are free from Apple's website, which we're going to go to right now. So you're going to want to go to developer.apple.com, which is right here, if you can't see that, developer.apple.com, and basically this is a site for all things having to do with developing apps or anything related to Apple software. So they have iPhone stuff and Mac stuff, anything that you need to get you on your way with programming on Mac OS's. So, um, they have great resources here. Um, they have different documentation uh, stuff for anything that you need to learn. Unfortunately, it's quite advanced if you don't know anything about programming. So, anyway, those are for later reference. You can use anything on those on the site. Anyway, so let's move on. Um, you're going to want to go to the Mac Dev Center right here. And in this, you have to register to be an Apple developer, which is absolutely free. Um, it doesn't have some of the added benefits that the actual program has for being a Mac dev, but it doesn't really matter. You can get all the free stuff that you need. So anyway, just hit the register button here, and then you just hit get started. And basically, it'll ask you a bunch of this different stuff. Um, if, you've, if you don't have an Apple ID or don't know what that is, you know, you can just go through the process. But I already have one, so I'm just going to skip that. It's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to go back to Mac Dev Center and just log in. And I'll log in with 1Password. So here, it brings you to this main page when you finally log into the Mac Dev Center. And here, right here, you have Xcode, and it's a big downloadable file. So if you click that, you will start downloading Xcode. Now, I'm going to stop that because I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to download it again because it is about 700 some megs. I don't want to download it again. So anyway, I'm going to show you actually what you do when you do get it. So once you download it, just open it up, and it should automatically fire this up. If it doesn't, it's in your downloads, or wherever you save your packages to. Double the package file, and just continue through it, blah, blah, blah. And then here, you can just leave everything the same. You don't actually need any of this other stuff. So if I were you, just leave it as it is, hit continue and install, and everything will install. It takes a while, but when you're done, it's all good. So I'm just going to go back since it's already installed, and that's your first intro to all the developer tools. All the tools are later in right where your hard drive is in the developer section, which might be new if you have never installed these before. Everything you need is pretty much right here. So applications are all here, and which we will use later. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and come back for lesson numero 2. Thank you.